Welcome back to Market Headlines. Indonesia is aiming to start administering coronavirus vaccines in early November. The health minister stated that the government is prioritizing vaccine injections to those on the front lines in the battle against COVID-19 and including those who are involving in the public services. The Indonesian government gets that supplies of COVID-19 vaccine will be available by November 2020. In line with the production capacities of China's several vaccine producers cooperating with Indonesia. Supplies of the COVID-19 vaccine have been secured as was disclosed during a meeting between the Indonesian delegation and the representatives of CanSino, G42, Sinopharm and Sinovac in China on October 10th, according to the Indonesian government statement on Monday. CanSino has fought to supply 100,000 single doses of the vaccine in November 2020 and some 15 to 20 million doses in 2021, while G42 and Sinopharm pledged to supply 15 million double doses of the vaccine this year, of which 5 million are promised to be provided in November 2020. Sinovac has also pledged to supply 3 million single doses of the COVID-19 vaccine until the end of December 2020. Meantime, the Health Ministry has rated a COVID-19 vaccination program and to this end, it has adopted required measures, including ensuring the preparedness of health facilities and simulation at public health centers in the country. From all sources, for IDX Channel. Yes, viewers, with the issuance of Presidential Regulations Number 99 of 2020 concerning the implementations of vaccinations to combat COVID-19 pandemic, the government stated that the vaccine will be available in Indonesia by this November 2020. And this is certainly a good news, right? So what is government's plan regarding these vaccinations? How many people will be vaccinated? So let's just go into the data in the next graphic. Here it is through the next graphic. You can see Indonesia's priority target for COVID-19 vaccine. Five million vaccines goes to community leaders, whereas it has religious leaders as well and regional officials. And also for 4.3 million dosage, of course, to teachers and also lecturers. Meanwhile, you can see through your screen, there are 2.3 million civil servants, which is both central and regional and also the legislatives and not to mention about 96 million goes for bpgs contributions aid recipients or we can call it in indonesia as pbi and also we can see through your screen 160 million goes to general public and people who belongs in the age range of 19 to 59 years old and of course, the data we gather is from the Coordinating Ministry of Economic Affairs and also our research team. And based on the government statement, the priority stages are in accordance with the availability of the vaccines, populations and risk areas, stages of use and the index of use. Vaccinations is based on priority groups that have a high level of susceptibility to viruses and have important function in providing public services and playing a strategic role. And meanwhile, the coordinating minister for the economic affair and the chairman of the COVID-19 handling committee, Erlanga Hartarto, said that the government is very focused on immediately bringing a COVID-19 vaccine to reduce the spread of the virus, which is increasing every day. But unfortunately, experts are cautious enough about Indonesia's pinning its hope on the vaccine development to curb the pandemic. For example, Diki Budiman, as the epidemiologist of Australia's Griffith University, said that the vaccines alone would not bring a country out of the pandemic. He added that there is no indication that vaccines can be a single solution to the COVID-19 pandemic. But yes, we still need to combine that again with main strategy, namely testing, tracing, isolations and quarantine, as well as physical distancing. So which parties or companies are the government working together to provide COVID-19 vaccines? Let's check into the graphic to your screen. Here it is. We can see vaccines manufacturer in collaborations with Indonesia. 
through your screen. First of all, you can see the Sinovac 2020. It provides around 100,000 doses. And of course, when we talk about Sinopharm by 2020, the company will provide 15 million doses. And of course, it in a dual doses, but in 2020, the number will ask will be escalated to be 50 million doses or in the dual dose as well. And meanwhile, Sinovac. We heard this about Sinovac quite often in the public, but by 2020, Sinovac, the company, will contribute about 3 million doses to Indonesia. While in 2021, this is very interesting because the number will eventually go higher by 125 million doses and a dual dose. And yes, viewers, I would like to emphasize that initial stage of procuring the COVID-19 vaccine cost around 37 trillion rupiah, where one of the resources of the funds comes from the state budget. As explained in the Presidential Regulations Number 99 of 2020, where the costs incurred for the procurement of vaccines are a part of costs for the rescue the economy from the crisis. And then, not only the central government, the regulations explains that the provincial and districts or city governments can also provide funding through the regional budget to support the implementations of COVID-19 vaccinations in their respective regions. And meanwhile, here it is, based on the regulations, vaccines payments can be made in advance or down payment, which is 15% higher than the value of the multi-year contract, which has been stated in the agreement or the contract. Until now, the government has revealed the ability of the advance fee for the procurement of vaccines of 3.3 trillion rupiah. The number is really huge. And regarding the commitment from those three vaccine manufacturers, those how are the latest developments of the productions of the COVID-19 vaccine so far. So let's move on through the next graphic. Here it is through the next graphic. We can see that CanCBO has conducted three uh, clinical trial that existed on Saudi Arabia, Russia, and also Pakistan. And when we talk about Sinopharm, here it is. The development is in the third phase and the clinical trials in China, Uni Emirate, um, Peru, Morocco, Argentina, and moreover, here it is, Sinovac, we can see the development is in the phase three clinical trials in China, Indonesia, Brazil, Turkey, Bangladesh, and Chile. And of course, we gathered the data from a coordinating minister of economic affairs and also our research team. And for your information, vaccine from Sinovac is currently undergoing a third phase clinical trial in Indonesia, as I mentioned before, specifically in Bandung, West Java. Meanwhile, at the same time, in order to build national resilience, Indonesia is developing a red and white vaccine. Ho's program is run by the h -Man Institute for Molecular Biology, where currently the red and white vaccine is in the early development stage and has not yet been carried out clinical trial. Well, Minister of Research and Technology Bambang Brojonegoro is optimistic that red and white vaccine will start clinical trial in early 2021. And then meanwhile, in the midst of waiting for the COVID-19 vaccine, the chairman of COVID-19 Handling Committee, Erlanga Hartato, revealed that the handling of COVID-19 in Indonesia has shown improvement with the cure rate reaching 76.45%. Even the progress improving recovery was higher than the global standard at 75.15%. Then, for the death rate due to COVID-19 vaccines, due to COVID-19, I mean, initially Indonesia had reached 9% and continued to decline until now at 3.58%, although it is still high compared to the global death standard of COVID-19 at 2.98%. And related to the high demand of vaccines, the government has also opened negotiations with European manufacturers. And to find out, let's go to the next graphic. Here it is, we can see about AstraZeneca. Government efforts to add more COVID-19 vaccine through your screen. We can see AstraZeneca is a European-based vaccine manufacturer ready to provide 100 million doses for Indonesia. And the government has prepared around 
250 million US dollar as a down payment for 50 million doses. And with the commitment to procure AstraZeneca vaccine, the government will pay a 50% down payment by the end of October. And in addition to support the smooth procurement of the vaccines, Foreign Minister Retno Matsudi and SOE Minister Eric Tohir are currently visiting UK to negotiate about the procurement of COVID-19 vaccine stocks directly with AstraZeneca. And as additional information, the University of Oxford collaborations with AstraZeneca serve as one of the most promising prospects of the Europe. Result from the phase one and two study has shown that the vaccine to produce a significant response and regarding the safety profile, the vaccines was also tolerated bearing minor side effects such as headache, fatigue, and the vaccine progressed to a multinational phase three trial across an adult age group with a view to enroll 50,000 participants. Even Dickie Budiman, as a epidemiologist of Australia's Griffith University, point out that the vaccine developed by Oxford University was among of the most advanced vaccines currently being made, with the vinyl research expected by the end of this year. And then, yes, viewers, hopefully with the availability of a vaccine, COVID-19 pandemic will end soon and bring goodness to all of us. And yes, viewers, Mark Headlines will be right back after this. Stay tuned.